Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing good and having an amazing day and the light turns on. <laughs> okay, so in this video, I'm going to share about what's been happening. Many of you don't not aware of fully what has been happening for the last few weeks a month, why market dipped so much, why it moved up and now it's kind of struggling. Uh, we'll see that and discuss I'll share what I've been sharing on Facebook if you're now following me I've been sharing a lot of stuff about the war the fad there was a meeting today not many of you are aware some do because I've posted on Facebook um, and yeah there's a lot of been things happening so the meeting nothing much happened uh, it wasn't very special they did try to meet up and uh, see the thing is and uh, the market doesn't did dip but not as badly um, if you see the stock market is is being indicator for crypto market to move okay so a lot of time i see when as soon as the market opens the stock market uh, btc do react gets more volume and how the stocks are moving s p especially and that's the s index like we have bitcoin here so s p 500 is there so that's accumulated of 500 companies in one stock so same thing with when Bitcoin moves everything moves with it so similar concept happening here and that's happening in the stock market so market is kind of confused it doesn't know exactly what to do the sentiments the fear drives from one market to other so if the stocks are dropping it doesn't mean uh, we, we all say that Bitcoin is hedge against the inflation but when there's a fear the market go the fear goes from one market to another market they will eventually go to a real estate market there was an a huge a chinese company the second biggest company they had to default as well um and then there was a lot of fear that dip started on stock market and everything and a lot of that happens because of fear we all know that and uh let's quickly see what fear index is saying today all right where we're sitting at right now uh fear index is at kind of fear there is fear in the market uh, the, but they haven't seen much of selling happening guys you have to understand here we have seen three days very choppy price action there's a very sm minor demand zone right here uh which uh it bounced from um daily demand zone um right here um it faked out this and faked out from yesterday price section as well market tried to go up and fit yesterday high was taken up so what market is right now doing is is taking liquidity from both sides all right give me a second let me just bring up my drawing tool i don't know why it got removed <laughs> all right so there was liquidity taken from these both highs so this was an inside bar so everything that's happening it was happening between this so we had this low taken out i like to see where the money is going all right when the dip happens there's very special money the smart money that makes the trend move okay so that's how i see it a lot of liquidity has been taken above this the market is now sharply dropping all right it was it was trying to hold up when the stock start dripping okay i'm not sure if you guys follow the s p 500 but i do i follow the stocks and a lot of stuff um i think what star market is doing is probably going to range a little bit uh, we have seen facebook dropping crazy i've said, mentioned on my facebook uh as well i mean this is amazing uh but the thing is with them they are sp spending so much money on metaverse so their profits has been reduced so because of that people are not so much interested in that there was netflix drop uh, a huge drop on netflix that's tesla uh this was a drop on netflix um and i posted when it was right down here on facebook saying uh there could be a potential buy i mean it gave a high low so you're gonna understand market does not just keep going up some people that want to get out they will get out on uh, these highs and markets a lot of time does this those who are buying here if they want to take profits market will give us high low all right i have a mini course where i share about how the structure work a high low and it could do high high if there are bulls in the market coming back in i mean we have seen very high selling pressure and netflix is one of the biggest platform in the uh, in the world right now and i think long term for see they're going to bring more and more uh, movies shows and stuff these are assets for them uh, they will bring more customers to them eventually so 
long term it's a good thing the thing is i've been very focused on uh, crypto uh that's why i'm not kind of buying but those who are buying it suggested them look you can buy and today uh price section on this is very interesting what i've seen so far on when it comes to s p 500 uh it's been dipping so does the bitcoin but this been dipping a lot more faster than what Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin is holding up very well. Uh, we had this lag up right here. And when this, well, even before this came here, I was expecting this. Uh, I've been posting on uh, Discord. In coming days, I'll share the Discord with you guys. I don't wanna uh, share the Discord with anyone at the moment if you guys are not aware of this. Um, so yeah, um, it is, in my opinion, is probably creating a high low because today meeting done nothing. Uh, there is fear in the market definitely but it's giving opportunity to accumulate money and if we break this if it creates a lower low this will become a weekly downtrend okay we already have daily uh, daily high uh, high low has been taken out so for me this if this drops down this could be bad this could be bad for the whole market uh, stock market and it will of course when the interest rate goes up real estate market will get affected because People look at the mortgage and they look at the monthly payments When the monthly payments goes high they will look for cheaper options so like that they won't be rushed to buy higher uh, valued properties all right so that's what people look at because when I spoke to my uh, solicitor most people look at their monthly uh, payments how much is gonna come at they don't really care what the house price is uh, how much is valued at stuff like that they don't really bother about that okay when it comes to uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin has been doing nothing, just been hanging up and down around. Uh, I mean, nothing special happened in Bitcoin. It's been at this supply zone, it dropped um, in, into monthly and weekly zone. Uh, this is very big monthly zone, uh, but weekly is somewhat like this. But it came to weekly zone um, and it, it's doing pretty well. But got to understand something, guys. This is not where your new trend starts. Uh, you have to understand i'm not so confident i have so many alerts right here uh, so many alerts because i don't want to be glued on my screen i want to know when market hits some kind of levels right uh i've been i've sold most of my bitcoin right up here at this area uh, in may 2000 and then it dropped it consolidated for like two months here we don't have any consolidation you can't just say the market will go up uh, it won't be sustainable and a maximum I expect to go here because this is a lot of supply sitting here and uh, from here we can potentially see what happens but we need a like f good half year at least four to six month consolidation before we look to go higher because this time it struggled it went up high and it dropped sharply because there was not enough consolidation smart money knows how things work they need more time to accumulate they can't accumulate because the market goes very high up they did accumulate on these drops and this is where the biggest money is made so this is what i'm looking to do right now i mean i've been mostly in cash having doing some nfts flips and uh, holding some um slowly slowly i'll be sharing with you guys in coming videos uh what i'm doing and how i'm doing things uh for now i'm just waiting having patience the, the way i play this game is different um is uh i play the dips i played this dip you know this dip that when that happened this one so i played that and uh and it made me ten thousand right here because i was i started accumulating right here and then i completely lost a pick because when this bounce happened i sold uh half up roughly and then we dropped I got back in so because I knew 40 could be and this was a major week that faked out and 40,000 fake out is pending and is still holding this major higher low so my eyes was here I said I'll take a bet as long as it holds it's gonna be good so I did play out well I sold it and I got out and then it started permitting and then here I was so close to get in I was just waiting for 20, 32,000 I had alert here this alert I was just waiting for 32,000. It came to 32,900. Uh, yeah, because I, I've i been witness of that because right now you have to understand if I start accumulating up here, 
if it goes down here that's a big drawdown for me and then my profit get eaten up because i don't hold for very long moves i hold for quick moves and here most probably if i was buying here i would have sold up here into this week um the sharp move up uh, this is what i do and once a month or oh, twice a month i get these type of opportunities and that those are more than enough and you have seven figures uh, sorry six figures to put in multi six figures um the reason you probably came here to know why Bitcoin is dropping. I already mentioned there was war, there's Fed meeting that's been affecting stock market and the stock market fear was coming into crypto as well. And Bitcoin was exactly almost following the same pattern as S&P 500. When that was dipping, Bitcoin was dipping as well. So uh, I, as I mentioned just now, uh, S&P 500 went up, but Bitcoin went up faster and Bitcoin started recovering before the S&P did. Uh, this was very unexpected move coming from Bitcoin breaking 40,000 without any uh, move up from here. So I was expecting a move up from here into 40,000 retest. It did not do that, but it goes down and then comes back and does that. All right. It does retest these lows again right here. And uh, yeah, there's a more supply that has been taken and we'll see what happens in you just have to have patience when it comes to have patience, you buy you and loss have patience. Why not better wait and have patience to buy a lower prices. If you're investing long term, get in the dips, accumulate in the dips. And that's the best thing you can do unless you're trading. That's a different story. Guys, follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, I'm gonna share a lot more stuff coming days. So I uploaded a video yesterday and to up uh, this, I've uploaded another video already uh, right here, this one, the things to avoid, the NFTs, type of NFTs you should avoid because you don't, you're just gonna see a quick uh, hype and then drawdowns on those. All right, those NFTs are not to hold, they are quick flip if you wanna do that. Uh, but other than that, uh, Ethereum is kind of following uh, BTC uh, and a lot of people looking this trend line broke on Ethereum and stuff like that uh, but still holding up um, because overall trend is um, major trend is bearish because this is your high lower high on uh, on daily as long as this holds um, it could just turn around here and keep going down but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in the market. Uh, the market has been very rough. Okay, they are not very clear trends. Okay, uh, so many people see this trend line broken. It broke right here as well. This was a fake out and then it returned down. I just put these as a reference. I do not trade trend lines. Um, my method of trading is smart money. It's a different concept. If you guys want to learn it, keep following and I will share slowly, slowly to you guys how I see things and how I trade. Um, other than that, there's nothing special guys. Uh, nothing special really happening at the moment. You just want to accumulate. If you want to do long term, accumulate Bitcoin and Ethereum don't accumulate shit, junk, um, unless you want to really get committed to some projects. Make sure you have very selective accumulation to other arts, uh, small arts gonna give you a lot of drawdowns and uh, they might not recover easily. Uh, some arts are very high prices of their valuation. There are companies, big companies like a BP is a UK uh, biggest uh, fuel company. Ada was valuation comparing to that like 80 billion. I mean, that's the thing people understand. These valuations of these projects Ada had nothing built on it, but now it's getting a lot of things built on it. So next cycle, Ada is going to really get a good uh, run with this valuation. So this is what you need to be prepared for. Not buy at $3 when Ada was 3 plus. Now it's a 1. Um, if it goes to 50, you have 50% down. That's fine, but it will recover quicker. Rather than buying at uh, $2, it goes to 150% and then it goes further drop. So this becomes a labor hard to hold and these coins can drop 90 percent we have seen this time and time again every cycle you go back and see it so far uh we have a high low here it's a very subjective high low uh we'll see what happens in the market uh markets are not showing very strong sign of bulls unless you want to accumulate uh somewhat you can do that last two weekend days we hardly had any volume today we have some volume 
but we will see what happens. Um, it's really subjective what's going to happen with S&P 500. And uh, Mark is probably going to follow that in somewhat uh, shape. I'm just waiting what happens. We have short drops, uh, Bitcoin is holding, and then other drops, and then it started recovering. Uh, it is retesting the demand zone that drew uh, back this is a weekly demand zone which is retesting again and again and i'll see what happens if we can go ahead and test these highs um and then from here if it does this bitcoin could go up to 50s area if this happens uh, because bitcoin is moving faster than this uh, so we can expect that to move from here to probably max it around 50 so this is 45 so you can expect around 48 to 52,000 and max this high uh, because if you go on weekly weekly is much clearer as i said this is a bigger supply zone and we have this candle so many people are going to short this candle because it's what they learn on a normal uh, candlestick pattern it's a shorting pattern short this market and all that but uh this have a lot of stop losses sitting above here and when this moves up takes all these stop losses shop spike up and where smart money will sell into those liquidation and yeah they will get out and probably drop the market and we'll see what happens but i'm not confident that we're going to see a move up and to the moon from here this is not what i've seen in my experience looking at charts for the last five years of bitcoin all right guys thank you for watching it's, it's it's a long video now and i'll see you guys in next video thank you and have a good day bye <laughs>